Some Easter events like the College Dale egg hunt have been canceled because of the pandemic. However, other places plan to follow CDC guidelines on Easter weekend and moving forward. We know that not everybody's vaccinated and we want to protect those who aren't. Father Brad Whitaker with St. Paul's Episcopal Church is preparing for a busy time of year. In years past, we would see a 20 to 30 percent increase beginning with Palm Sunday and then our services throughout the week. He says he and other church leaders are creating safe ways for people to honor Easter Sunday while staying safe. They have to pre-register to come to service rather than just walking in. He says those preparations are already paying off. Several of our Easter services are already at capacity for signing up. We do have an overflow area that people can sign up for. Restaurants are also prepping for a surge this spring. I think it's going to be this is going to be a better summer than last year. Patrick Hook with Charlie's Barbecue and Bakery says while plans aren't as big as they have been for previous Easter weekends, he's still expecting more people will come out. Just getting people back out here, you know, to where the parking lot's full, the patio's full, the dining room's full. Hook says no matter how crowded things get, Safety is still a number one priority. Obviously, when we're inside and dealing with customers, that kind of thing, we're all wearing the masks, gloves, of course, sanitizer. As of right now, none of that's going to change. Whitaker says St. Paul's and other churches will do the same, but suggests anyone trying to make Easter plans do it sooner rather than later. We suspect that those will probably begin to fill up um, by the end of this week and first of next week. Now, both the Tennessee Department of Health and the Georgia Health Department suggest following CDC guidelines during Easter weekend. And a spokesperson for the Georgia Health Department also advises people to consider local community COVID conditions when making Easter plans, especially positivity rates and hospitalizations. Reporting in the studio, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.